Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll solve lead code problem number 550, Gameplay Analysis 4. This one requires analyzing the entire table of records and calculating how many of those records meet specific criteria. So the exact requirement is to calculate the fraction of the total or it can be phrased as percentage. I used to struggle with such tasks a lot, but then I learned one simple and very logical approach to tackle them. And the good thing about it is that it's a pattern and it can be reused. So once you train your brain to think this way, you will pray for such questions in your interview. So let me show you. Here is our task. Player ID event date is the primary key combination of columns with unique values of this table. This table shows the activity of players of some games. Each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games, possibly zero, before logging out on some day using some device. Write a solution to report the fraction of players that logged in again on the day after the day they first logged in, rounded to two decimal places. In other words, you need to count the number of players that logged in for at least two consecutive days starting from the first login date. Then divide that number by the total number of players. The result format is in the following table. Only one player with ID 1 logged back in after the first day he logged in, so the answer is 0.33. So my strategy here and for any such task that requires calculating fraction or percentage is to add the column to the data that I have, marking the records that fulfill the criteria of the task. So in this case, marking the players that logged in after their first login. I will call it today's strike. So for the player ID 1, I want to mark 1st March as no because it was his first login, then 2nd March as yes because he logged in two days in a row after his first login. Second player logged in on the once, so no, and third player logged in months later, so no as well. Now, based on the value in my additional column, I will be able to easily calculate the ratio or percentage or whatever they are asking me to calculate. Because once I have this information on row level in my table, I can count or sum the values in this column according to the requirements. So how do we start? First of all, there is no doubt that we need to get the first login date for each user. This is very simple query. Select player ID, minimum event date as first login from activity group by player ID. Let's run it. Perfect. For our sample data, we can only see one row per user with their first login date. Another component that we will need is to compute the date after the first login, which can be done using date add function. So date add first login interval one day. Now we have both of those components, we can create a table which includes our activity table and additional column that we talked about. We'll collect all the pieces together and prepare a join. Since we need entire activity table, it will be a left join. Entire activity table will be a left input and our right input will be the subset of its data that we created earlier. I will alias it as first login or FL. Join criteria will be player ID and event date from activity table will equal next day after first login date that we computed using date add function. You can see how easy it is to write the master query now that I have those earlier queries ready and tested. It is just about copy paste them into the correct logic. As for the select, you can just do star here or specify the columns that you want to see. Nothing unusual here. I will go with the latter. As a result of this, we will not get our target table yet. We will get populated rows from login table, meeting criteria and empty rows for the rest. It will look like this. 
you can leave it like this and move forward with nulls, but I will use case statement to convert all the null values into no and non-null values into yes. As a result of this, we will get our target table. Let's wrap it into common table expression and perform our final calculation. Our numerator is going to be sum or count, in this case it doesn't matter, of players that logged in the second day. And the numerator is distinct count of players in the table. And all of that is going to be rounded to second decimal place using round function. And here is our final result. That's it for this video. Let me know guys what you think in the comments and I will see you next Tuesday.